Hello Hacktubers and welcome back to my... Oh! Welcome back to my channel. Let's start the video now. You need only 7 components to make this LED driver. Simple LED driver. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. From eBay, couple of years ago, I ordered 100 solar LED drivers, and this model is 5252F solar garden LED driver. Step up voltage, and basically. Almost in every solar garden light, there is this integrated chip. And I have made a new circuit for my blinking LED. Because the circuit that comes with the ordinary solar garden lights, the LED blink type will not work. So I needed to modify, add few components like 470 ohm resistor, one diode 4007, this is 150 millihenries inductor, the inter integrated chip 5252, 10 nanofarads capacitor and 100 nanofarads also capacitor. This blue LED, it have built-in chip so it can blinks and it works on 3 volts but using the step up integrated chip 5252 it will increase the voltage so the LED work properly and here it is my experiment my testing circuit where all 7 components are soldered and you can see that the red LED is blinking and it's working properly on 1.2 2 volts rechargeable battery, which is good and tested. The first two components that I'm gonna solder are the inductor and the 10 nanofarads capacitor. Both of them are connected in parallel. I'm gonna solder first these components. Next, I'm gonna solder the, the diode together with the 470 ohm resistor. And the last is the LED and in Parallel with the LED, I soldered the 100 nano, nanofarads capacitor. You can see that the, the circuit is finished and it's more, more compact than my testing circuit. So now I'm going to explain the, the points. We have three points. The first point is the ground. The second point is pin number one of the integrated chip 5252 is for the solar panel, for the positive side of the, for the solar panel. And the third point is positive uh, for the battery. On these points, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect my solar panel and my rechargeable battery. And now you can see that, that on my power supply, I'm using 0 0.9 volts and when I hook up the alligator clips, the circuit starts working, which is good, and it pulls out about 3 to 5 milliampers. That is great. That was my point, to make a circuit that will consume less power. And here it is. My circuit is finished. I have soldering all the components, adding the rechargeable battery 1.2 volts. This battery has 2000 milliampers. It will last a super long time with the cell blinking LED circuit. The solar panel will give around, I don't know, 20 milliampers to charge the battery. And to mention one more time, the circuit is working from 0 0.9 volts up to 1.2 volt maximum and it will pull about 3 to 7 milliampere depend, depends on the, how much the battery is charged I made this circuit because I wanted to drive a LED, a self blinking LED adding few components and if you add just ordinary LED will work but if you add 
a self blinking LED will not work if you do not add these electronic components like on the circuit diagram. Now I'm gonna turn off the studio lights and to see how it works this self blinking LED on 1.2 volts because the LED as you know it's working on 3 volts but with the iterated chip 5252 that is a step up voltage converter for solar garden lights you can see that the blue LED working great and the last thing that I want to show you is that I'm gonna use this 8 mm LED which is ordinary not self blinking but when I hook up in parallel with the red LED just look the blue LED start blinking too why the red LED is self blinking the blue is ordinary but when it's connected in parallel they blink both why comment below what you think this is weird okay that was all for today video project please share subscribe and like see ya